Hey, Emily Olson here back for another episode of Hashtag Get Lit, where we crush your business in less than 10 minutes. And for today, I'm really excited to kick off a two-part series because we're really going to get into content strategy. And at the end of the day, I'm going to teach you how to create 100 to 200 to possibly 300 pieces of content in record speed with the power of Trello. Plus, you get a free board. Stay tuned. Trello, and I'm actually going to give this board to you. So you can just make a copy and you can Google how to do that if you don't know. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to plan out our content in two different ways. So for part one, I'm actually going to show you how to plan out content with monthly themes. And this can allow you to create, depending on how many pieces you create per month, anywhere from 120 to 240 to 360. And you're going to see how easy this is. So you're going to make a copy of this board. And then what I want you to do before you dial it down is I want you to go through monthly themes and I want you to pick a theme for each one. So this one could be goal setting. I mean, obviously it's going to depend on what niche you're in, but you're just going to go ahead and you're going to create some themes, okay? And uh, you can repeat them, but I would tweak them a little bit, okay? So you're just going to go through and do that. Then you're going to open this up and you are going to do a brain dump. I like to do checklists. You can just say content ideas, okay? And then we're just going to list out a night of tons of different things on goal setting. So if you actually go to uh, Google, for example, you can put how to set goals, and then it's going to show you all the, the most common uh, questions that people ask is, what is the best way to set goals? So you could write that down on your list. What are the seven steps to goal setting? What are three types of goals? And when you click these and then shorten them, it's actually going to add more to the list, which is a, a cool little hack I learned from um, Coach Leanne, a team goal digger. So if you just keep doing that, you're just going to get more and more ideas, okay? So depending on how you play with this. The other place to look is Pinterest. And then the answer the public is our other favorite website that we like to use because it's going to tell you what people are actually searching. Okay. So if you put goal setting in here, it's going to tell you exactly what people are searching. So based on those results, I just want you to brain dump. Okay. All the things about goal setting, 10 ideas, 20 ideas, 30 ideas. Okay. So um, how to set goals, right? How to set goals, maybe what you really think about smart goals, how to adjust your goals, uh, how to give your goals meaning, right? Again, you can Google search that. Then when you come here, when it's time to create content, you just pull this up in January. The cool thing is, is if you have 30, 30 ideas on here, you have an idea for each day of the, of the month, which is great. And you can just go down the list. So it takes out all the guesswork. So if we do 30 on here for each one, that means at the end of the 12 months, we're actually going to have 360 pieces of content. The other cool thing is that once you start going through this and you're recycling a little bit, so let's say for March, you do spring into fitness because you're in health and wellness. And then in September, you do fall into fitness. You can go ahead and take the March, the March list and copy it. Let me show you how to do that real quick. So if we go, well, actually, we'll do it with this one. So we've got this checklist right here, and you want to copy this checklist. What you can do is you can go down here to September, click checklist, and you can actually copy the checklist that you made for January setting goals. So now the checklist that we just had from January imports over to here. So you could take everything you'd already created, and then you could absolutely go ahead and repurpose that, which is really cool, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the link to this Facebook planner in here. This obviously, this training is just going over content creation ideas. Part two, we're gonna go through a totally different angle of creating content that I think you're really gonna love because it's really gonna dial down to your personal brand where this is more based on the theme of the month. Everybody's different. So I think after you watch the two, I think you're gonna have a really clear path of how you wanna create content. But this part two is gonna give you more of the strategy on your brand development. And when you look at this, if you wanna plan out all your content with Trello, just click start here. And I actually put a tutorial together for how to use this board. And it's actually one of my most popular videos on YouTube. So I think you're going to love it. And then there's also instructions right here on how to make a copy of the board. If you have a team, if you work with clients and you want to use this board, you are welcome to share this board with others because uh, it really is the gift that keeps on giving. 
because it allows you get, to get all your content organized and all the things. And I will say those that have somewhat of a plan are uh, able to be more efficient and more confident on social media because what most people do is they just open up their phone and they stare at their phone. Can you relate? Let me know in the comments. And they just look at their phone and they're like, I literally don't know what to post. My, my mind is going blank. What should I post? And instead, we can pull this up and at least have an idea and even go so far to actually plan that content out, which is what uh, the tutorial in here is going to show you how to do. Okay. So what I want you to do is watch this, obviously, if this was helpful, subscribe, click the like button wherever you're watching this. And then what I would love for you to do is to watch part two, which we will link to this video when that one's done. I want you to go ahead and watch part two so you have another strategy. And most importantly, you're gonna learn about your personal branding buckets and how to develop that or refresh that depending on where you're at in your online journey. So thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful, take a screenshot, throw this Trello board in your stories, share it with your friends. Tag me at the Gold Digger Girl. I would love to give you a shout out. And most importantly, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you soon. Bye.